So welcome to another video from Gearbox Labs. Today we are working with C++ in order of operations. Tinkercad is an excellent tool for studying, teaching our students about PEMDAS, which is the order of operations for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. We are telling our program what information has to be added to the code in order to program a device. We will see the basic operations added to C++ language and the application in Tinkercad. So the first thing in here is uh, signing in for our account using our personal email or username, and then just following the instructions to go to the main page. So in here, what we are going to do is just going to the section of circuits and creating a new one. This is going to be our workspace. So the first thing is going to the top left and change the name Project 1. And this is the section for PEMDAS. In order to work with our uh, code, we need to add an Arduino microcontroller. So at the right, we just type Arduino. We will look for the microcontroller and then we just bring it here to our the center of our workspace. The next thing is uh, opening the window that is uh, at the right of our screen. And in here, we are not going to work with the section of blocks. We are going all the way to the text and we continue. Tinkercad is giving us um, an example of C++ code. So what we are going to do is just erasing this section. And uh, C++ is dividing this code in three important parts. The first one is declaration of variables, then the first function, which is the void setup, and the second function, our void loop. So in here, we need to define the type of uh, variables that we are going to use. The first one is gonna be integer, int. This one is a fundamental variable type that defines numeric variables, will hold the whole numbers, negative and positive, and uh, this uh, integer int has a limit. So we are going to use this int for um, the exponent. We need to assign a variable, so we can say that this one is y and y is going to be equals to another um, function that is POW. And when we add this one, the program will read exponents. So in here, what we have to do is adding the value for that exponential operation. So our students can change those numbers to be 5 and 2 and we close with a semicolon. And in here, if we go to the right and adding a slash slash, we can say that the structure of this is exponent. The first number is gonna be the base and the second one is the exponent. Important to mention the structure of our um, first line of code. Then we need to add um, two more variables, one for um, A, one for B. We need two variables for um, working with mm, operations or, or PEMDAS. So since in here we need to add an extension to INT, we need to tell the program that. So we are adding another variable, which is uh, um, long, we're going to add a long int, so we will extend that uh, capacity of the integer. And then in here, we are going to assign the first variable, which is a, and a will have a value of 1000. Our students can change this value as well. And then this, inside this long int, we are going to add another variable with a value of 250 and then we are going to add the last 
which is a result of the last uh, bar. So that way we will use these three variables for uh, building the operations in the um, void loop. So then, after declaring the variables, we are going to start with the first function, which is the void setup. Watch setup is coming with parentheses and a curly bracket. And it's in here where we are going to add a, uh, other functions and constants. Since we are going to use the serial monitor, which is at the bottom of our screen, we need to tell the program to open the serial monitor so we can read data. And the, uh, the structure for this is serial begin. And then um, our program has a speed of reading data. So always it's gonna be 9,600 RAM. So we have here um, the structure for opening the serial monitor. Then we close this void setup with a curly bracket. So in here, as a comment, we can add a tab right, start a serial monitor. Then on line number seven, we are going to work on the second function, which is the void loop. It has the same structure as the void setup. It opens with a curly bracket since we are going to add all the map operations inside this uh, uh, function and the first one is going to be a printing so we are going to start printing a title so in this case we open a parenthesis and a quote and in here we are going to add our title so this one is uh, a code for typing um, operations for pandas. This one um, can be print um, titles and after that we need to give time to our program to display that information since we are going to continue typing more information so in here we are going to add a delay which is time and we are going to give 3000 milliseconds c++ understands the delays as milliseconds or three seconds so in here it's important to mention in our comments that the number inside the parentheses are milliseconds Then in here, we will have a uh, important to close those uh, lines of code with semicolons. The program will read that line of code if it has semicolons at the end. So the next thing is going to be the first function. So we close. The delay with a um, semicolon then we are going to start working with the first operation which is parentheses and exponent so what we are going to do is typing another printing so it's going to be a print for a title so by opening a quote we tell the program that we are going to work with a parentheses and exponent. We close with a quote, semicolon, and then in here our next line of code is going to be adding the variable, the value that we um, assign for this uh, um, first part of the operation. So we add a serial print and we are going to add 
an ln to print. So our program will print data on the second line. And then in here, we open a parenthesis and we are going to type the res result, which was the variable that we were using at the beginning. So result is going to be equals. And then we are going to add a formula that we have here. So this one is base and exponent, and then two parentheses, closing this uh, uh, math operation. In line 11, it's important to uh, give a space between the uh, last letter and the uh, quote. We can give here a space. So the numbers are going to be separated from the title. Then in here, our program will read title and um, value coming from this uh, formula. The next thing is going to be adding a delay of 3,000 milliseconds. And that is going to be a, um, important because we will continue typing the next um, operation, which is uh, multiplication. What we can do here is uh, copying uh, line 11, 12, and 13 with control C, and then leave a space. And on line 15, we with control V, we paste the same uh, information from line 11, 12, and 13. And only changing the titles. So this one is going to be multiplication. And then the formula, of course, is going to change. So in multiplication, we have already our variables in here. So what we are going to do is result equals and then A multiplied by B. So that's why our program that our program is going to read that formula and give us a result. We can continue doing that copying control with control C uh, lines 15, 16, and 17. And then on line 19, we paste the, the next printing and we continue with division. So in here, what we are doing is just erasing this title, adding our division, and adding our um, sign for dividing A from B. Giving another space for um, the second part of our, our code here. So we already have division, and then the next is addition. So we are bringing 19, 20, and 21 for adding A plus B. We are going to have another copy and paste for subtraction. So we change this one to minus. And then we leave a space, another uh, printing for the last operation. So you see here an example of PEMDAS, how PEMDAS operation will look. So operation. So in here, as a result, we are going to add how PEMDAS look in um, C++. So this one is going to be six times and then code. Base exponent, 
plus 3. We close the parentheses to add a number 7. And that will give us a result based on famous. After the delay of 3,000 um, milliseconds, the last thing is closing our void loop with a curly bracket and uh, closing the program. The next thing is just uh, a opening the serial monitor. And then if we don't have mistakes in our code, the information is going to be displayed in here. So we can start the simulation. And then in here, if we have mistakes, we need to check what is missing. So basically, the code is telling us where to go or which line to pay attention to. And in this case, it's telling us that line 32, it has there a, uh, a situation. So in here, what we are going to do is uh, finding um, where the mistake is. So in here, is missing part of the code, which is the result. So this one has to be added. So we add a parenthesis, and then we add result equals. And then we can start the simulation again to see if that solves the problem. So in there, the result was missing. That's why the importance of adding these uh, a, um, variables, because those are the ones displaying um, the information that is coming from the formulas. So there we are seeing the results, how um, according to the formulas that we prepare in, in our serial printer.